Police Minister Behiklele will today pay a second visit, uh, visit to the Kwam Majola villages in Port St. John's. That's where dozens of homes were set alight in an alleged land dispute. Now, land disagreements are reportedly among the driving factors behind the recent mass murders in the province. Let's unpack this further. We're joined this morning by Willem Els, who is with the Institute for Security Studies. Willem, thanks very much for coming on. And as I alluded to in, in my introduction, um, the minister is going there today, but this is by no means a new issue in that area. Uh, good morning to you. Uh, yes, uh, of course, we saw a spate of uh, mass killings in the, in the Eastern Cape province. Uh, we saw some uh, positive results where there were some uh, arrests of uh, some of these uh, perpetrators, and we hope that uh, there will uh, uh, also be some arrests in, in, in this case. As you mentioned, that uh, it is not something, something new for the province. Uh, it is something uh, that uh, is not only in, uh, happening in, uh, in the Eastern Cape province, but also we saw a spate of, of mass killings in, uh, in KwaZulu Natal and in Napopo as well. So uh, this is not uh, just uh, localized to that area, but it is very tr troublesome. Yeah, the mass killing side of things certainly not unique to that area, but the fact that it's been related to land disputes, Willem, what do you make of that? Well, in the first place, uh, you know, in South Africa, we've got a history of, 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 of land and land issues that are obviously very uh, contentious, but also very emotional uh, for, for, for the, the majority of the people. And uh, there's a lot of uh, emotions going with that. And uh, also, uh, you see, uh, the problem that you have, if there's no decisive uh, uh, actions, if actions are being taken or, or, or complaints are being being directed to, to government and to the authorities, uh, then people tend to take uh, the actions into their own hands, and then we see the results that we have today that are not desirable. Yeah, 50 homesteads and 97 houses burnt down as a direct result of this, this land dispute. So the police minister is going there today. What can he achieve with this visit, Willem? I mean, you know, who are the people that he needs to speak to in, in that community? Yeah, well, uh, in the first place, you know, we, we believe that the minister will be guided not to, 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 to compromise the crime scenes with his presence. He's there to, to provide uh, political leadership, uh, and he should stick to that. Uh, we see that he will also be, uh, be uh, accompanied by the National Commission of Police, uh, General Fani Masamola, and uh, we believe that they will be there to provide uh, guidance and also leadership. Uh, to the local uh, uh, police that is going to, to do the, the investigations. We see that they already at, uh, appointed a task team to, uh, to uh, investigate this. Uh, that is a very good sign. Uh, but also uh, it is very important because of the emotional issue uh, of nature of this issue uh, that uh, the minister uh, get uh, all the role players around the table and see how they can reach common ground. Mm. Um, it, it won't be an easy job, right, um, just given the kind of lawlessness that, that clearly exists in that community. I mean, just on Friday, there were reports that two pupils were um, shot in that area. They were just walking home from, from visiting friends. I mean, does that indicate to you that there's um, sort of a concerted effort to, to destabilize talks, to bring a resolution there? It, it might be, yes. Uh, we also see, you know, that's, a, that's very worrisome is, is the violent nature of, of, of uh, how we, uh, we try to settle our, our disputes uh, in, in South Africa and also in that region. And intimidation with firearms, uh, of course, is uh, one of the leading uh, methods of these uh, perpetrators to, to install their will and also to intimidate of course, the, the opposition. So that is a very troublesome uh, situation. And uh, we, we believe that the police will take control there. It is very important that assertive efforts must be taken. The police must assert the authority in the area. They must take control of the area. And they must also, by doing so, they will install a, 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 a trust in the community that the police is there uh, to, 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 to solve the situation. Mm. Uh, yeah, to restore trust in the community that um, will obviously be quite shaken, quite fearful. Who knows if anyone would even want to come forward and be part of this. It's, it's been called a uh, multi-sector, multi-pronged engagement with the community there. If there is a concerted effort to destabilize things, to instill a sense of fear in that community, 
that will surely have an impact on how successful the minister is with this uh, engagement there today. Of course, it will come down, it will boil down to, 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 to leadership now, where we see that it, it is a multifaceted and also multi-department uh, issue that need to be, be, be addressed. So uh, we believe that the minister will bring in uh, all his counterparts from the different departments and all the different role players to sit around the table to, to, to get to the bottom of, of the situation, but also to, 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 like we mentioned, to, to bring back the trust in government that they are taking control of the situation and, of course, uh, that they are there to, to, to assert that the rule of law will be maintained. Yeah, certainly. The minister going into an incredibly fraught situation there in the Kwa Majola villages in Port St. John's. Willem Els, let me thank you for your time this morning. Willem is with the Institute for Security Studies. Uh, giving us some analysis on the situation there. Uh, 50 homesteads, 97 homes burnt down there in an apparent land dispute. We're tracking that story for you.